Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today we've got an LS head, an aftermarket performance version. You can tell this because they have the extra bolt bosses on the outside here. And this thing's been overheated as you can see from the melted out heat tab. It's also got a few cracks that the customer wants us to attend to. So we're going to take care of this. We got one here in this bolt boss. Uh, another one right here and then here on the end we got a crack that looks like it goes from the spark plug well all the way around the corner of the head so first thing we're going to do is pressure test this see the extent of the cracks clean the head a little better and then we'll have a better idea of what we're going to look for here also on the deck of the head apparently the customer was too lazy to maintain their coolant as you can see there's a lot of aluminum rot around all the water ports what we're going to do is cut all that out with a burr weld it all back up and the machine shop that sent these here is going to be able to resurface this so we're going to get on with it get this pressure tested cleaned and we'll come back later okay here we are with the head all set up in the pressure tester and what we do is block off all the water holes water ports and then we fill the head with air and kind of check it like the old days of checking a tire we have a good idea here where the crack is so we'll put some bubble solution on it and that just proves our point We can see it fizzing out of the crack. Uh, crack's not nearly as bad as we thought, leak-wise anyway. Uh, we'll get it checked out once we get it up on the bench, see how far it actually goes, and then we can go ahead and repair it. It actually does turn the corner here a little bit. You can see it fizzing out of the corner. Looks like the crack is marked to go further, but we'll double check that after we get it off of here. Now we know that it's leaking. So we'll go ahead and prep the head and preheat it and then we'll weld and repair it. Okay, we added a little bit more air and now we can see this crack goes quite a bit further than we initially thought. It goes up the side here, you can see the, the bubbles fizzing out and then of course up across the top. Uh, happily does not seem to go too far down if at all into the spark plug well. So now we know what we're dealing with we can go ahead and cut the material out and weld this. Okay back again. We have run the torch over the suspected cracked area and as you can see the black line is the crack. There's a real easy way we just run the TIG torch over it and now we can see the full extent of the crack. We can see where it stops, where it starts, and this side is actually a little more extensive than the pressure test showed us. So the next step is to clean all this out. We'll go after it with a carbide burr, and we got a special little tool for our die grinder that'll take this out pretty quick. We'll get down to the bottom of the crack, to the other side of the casting, and at that point we'll preheat the head, We'll clean everything properly and then we can go ahead and weld it. And if you got a keen eye, you may have noticed that we have a broken bolt in the end here. That's no big deal, really. We can get that out. The main concern is these extensive cracks. And I think we could be able to do that without a whole lot of problem. So we'll see you when we get this carved out. Okay, here we are with the crack all carved out. We're down to bright, shiny metal. These ends are not nearly as thick as I would have guessed that they would be. It didn't take too much for us to go ahead and break through, but that's okay. Now we know we're at the end of the crack, and we can fill that up and massage it off, and it should be just fine. So next step is to preheat. We'll get a good heat soak on this 
and then go ahead and do the welding. Then we'll post cool it and pressure check, make sure we got everything the way we want it, and then we can proceed on with the rest of the welding.